Hi friends, welcome to my channel The Art Zone. Today I have come up with a new video of this beautiful and simple dolly. Its diameter is about 22 inches. Pattern is quite simple, especially for beginners. I hope you like this video. So let's start the video. Before starting the video, I would request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell button and give your suggestion in the comment section. Let's begin with the video. We have used lightweight number 3 cotton yarn for this jolly. But now we will use a little bit thinner yarn. We are going to make this dolly with fine weight number 2 acrylic yarn and 2 mm crochet hook. We will make this dolly with 2 mm crochet hook and we have used 3 mm crochet hook for that one. So first of all, make a slip knot and now make 8 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After making 8 chains, now insert the hook into the last chain and join with the slip stitch with this pattern, we will make a ring. And now first of all make a single make a chain then insert the hoop into the ring and make first single crochet one insert the hoop into the ring and make second single crochet like this then insert the hoop into same ring and make third single crochet insert the hoop into the ring and make fourth single crochet just keep doing with this pattern and make 16 double crochet sorry 16 single crochet into this ring 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 14, 15 and make last single crochet into the ring 16. With this pattern we will make first 16 single crochet then you can see this here we have the top chain of first single crochet insert the hook into this chain and join with the slip stitch. With this pattern we have completed first round in first round we should have 16 single crochet after making 16 single crochet now make 4 chains 1 2 3 these 3 chains will be counted as a first double crochet then make one more chain for chain space after making 4 chains insert the hook into next single crochet and make a double crochet like this then make a chain, insert the hook into next chain, make a double crochet, insert the hook, make a chain, yarn over and make a double crochet into next chain, one chain, yarn over, then make a double crochet into next chain, just keep doing with this pattern, make a chain, then make a double crochet in each chain and complete round 2. 1 chain, next chain, double crochet, 1 chain, next chain, double crochet with this pattern. We will complete round 2. At the end of round 2, we should have 60 double crochet. We are at the end of round 2. After making chain, insert the hook into last chain and make last double crochet from here with this pattern we have completed 
round two now make a chain and you can see this here we have this first four chains skip first and second chain insert the hook into third chain and join with a slip stitch we have completed round two and now we are going to start round three first of all make three chains as a double crochet in this round you will make two chains instead of one after making first five chains skip next chain space then insert the hook into top chain of second double crochet and make a double crochet two chains skip next chain space make a double crochet into top chain of next double crochet two chains one two next double crochet We are at the end of round 3 after making last double crochet. Now make 2 chains and here we have first 5 chains. So insert the hook into chain 3 and join with a slip stitch. With this pattern we have completed round 3. Now round 4. For round 4 first of all make 3 chains as a double crochet. Then yarn over, insert the hook into same chain and make 1 more double crochet. After making 2 double crochet, make 2 chains, then skip next chain space, then insert the hook into top chain of next double crochet and make 2 double crochet, 1 and make 1 more double crochet in same chain, 2, then make 2 chains and make 2 double crochet, 1, 2, then make 2 chains, insert the hook into next chain make two double crochet one and make one more double crochet in same chain two we have to repeat this pattern all around make two double crochet then make two chains two double crochet in each chain each double crochet this pattern will complete this round We are at the end of round 4 after making last 2 double crochet then make 2 chains and insert the hook into top chain of 1st double crochet and join with the slip stitch. With this pattern we have completed 4 rounds. In round 4 we have made 2 double crochet instead of 1 because we will increase the double crochet in each round. First of all make 3 chains as a 1st double crochet. After making this double crochet into next chain, we will make 2 double crochet. 1 and make 1 more double crochet in same chain. 2. With this pattern, we will make 3 double crochet. After making 3 double crochet, make 2 chains. Then jump to the next double crochet. Insert the hook into first double crochet. Make a double crochet, then into next double crochet, we will make two double crochet. One, and make one more double crochet in same chain. Two, then again make two chains, make a double crochet in next chain, and make two double crochet in second chain. like this just make three double crochet two chains three double crochet and complete round five we are at the end of round five make two chains then insert the hook into first double crochet make a double crochet then make two double crochet in second double crochet one two then make last two chains one two and join with the slip stitch with this pattern we have completed one two three four five five rounds now we are going to start round six which is quite same as round four and five first of all make first three double three chains as a double crochet 
the next chain will make make a double crochet then here we have the last double crochet so make two double crochet in last double crochet one and make one more double crochet in same chain two with this pattern you will make four double crochet then make two chains and jump to the next double crochet and first of all make a double crochet in first chain then double crochet in second chain and in third chain you will make two double crochet one and make one more double crochet in same chain two after making four double crochet again make two chains then insert the hook into next double crochet make a double crochet second double crochet make a double crochet and into third chain we'll make two double crochet one two keep doing with this pattern and complete round six and in round seven it'll make five double crochet two chains then in next round it'll make six double crochet with this pattern you'll increase the size after completing round 11, I'll tell you that what we have to do next. We have completed 11 rounds. In round 11, we have made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 double crochet, 2 chains, 9 double crochet, 2 chains. With this pattern, we have completed 11 rounds. Now we are going to start round 12. In round 12, we will divide the dolly in 8 sections. For this, first of all, make 3 chains as a first double crochet. Then insert the hook into next chain, make a double crochet. Next chain, double crochet 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. After making 8 double crochet, skip last double crochet. Then make 2 chains, 1, 2, yarn over. Now insert the hook into this chain space and make a V-stitch. For this, first of all, make a double crochet. Then make 3 chains. Insert the hook into these loops, make a single crochet, again make 4 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see this, here we have these 2 loops, insert the hook into these loops and make a single crochet, then again make 3 chains, then insert the hook into these loops and make a single crochet. And now yarn over and make one more double crochet in same chain space. After doing this, now make two chains, one, two, then skip first double crochet. And insert the hook into top chain of second double crochet and make a double crochet, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. With this pattern. We will make 8 double crochet on both sides. After making this, now here we have the next chain space. For this, we will make 2 chains. Then insert the hook into this chain space and just make a double crochet. Then again, make 2 chains and now jump toward the next petal. And first of all, insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet. Make a double crochet. We have to repeat this pattern. First of all, make first a double crochet one, two, three, four, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट आफ्टर मेकिंग एट डबल क्रोशे स्किप लास्ट डबल क्रोशे इन अगेन रिपीट दिस पैटर्न फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेक टू चेन्स वन टू इंसर्ट द हुक इन टू द चेन स्पेस एंड मेक डबल क्रोशे देन मेक थ्री चेन्स इंसर्ट द हुक इन टू दिस लूप्स मेक सिंगल क्रोशे देन अगेन मेक फोर चेन्स वन टू थ्री फोर Insert the hook into these loops. Make a single crochet and make three chains. And make a single crochet from here. And now yarn over and make a double crochet in chain space. You can see this with this pattern. You'll make the little flower. Then again, make two chains and now skip. First double crochet and make next eight double crochet. One, seven, and eight. After making eight double crochet, we have divided these petals. You can see this. And now again, make two chains. One, two. Insert the hook into the chain space and make a double crochet. Then make next two chains one, two, and jump to the next double crochet. And again make first a double crochet one, two, after making first a double crochet, skip last double crochet, then make this flower and make, skip first double crochet and make next eight double crochet just keep doing with this pattern and complete round 12 we are at the end of round 12 after making last petal you can see this here we have the last petal of this flower make two chains insert the hook into last chain space and make a double crochet then make two chains now insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join with the slip stitch with this pattern we have completed 12 rounds and in round 12 we have divided the pattern in 8 sections you can see this now make 3 chains 1 2 3 then insert the hook into next chain make a double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 in this round we will make 7 double crochet because we will skip last double crochet after making 7 double crochet, now make 2 chains and you can see this here we have the chain space. Insert the hook into this chain space and make a double crochet. After making double crochet, now make 10 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After making 10 chains, you can see this. Here we have the second chain space. So yarn over, insert the hook into second chain space and make a double crochet. Then again make two chains and now skip first double crochet. Insert the hook into second double crochet and make next seven double crochet. One, two, five six and seven we have to repeat this pattern all around after making this 
next you can see this here we have these two chains double crochet and two chains so just repeat the pattern make two chain and now insert the hook into first chain space and make a double crochet then make two chains and jump through the second chain space make a double crochet then make two chains and now make next seven double crochet insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet make a double crochet in this round you'll make three chain spaces one two three four five six and seven then skip last double crochet after making seven double crochet again make two chains one two then you can see this here we have the chain spaces on both side of this flower so insert the hook into first chain space make a double crochet then make 10 chains 1 2 9 10 after making 10 chains jump to the next chain space and first of all make a double crochet then make 2 chains now skip first double crochet then make next 7 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 after making next pattern you can see this then again repeat this pattern make 2 chains double crochet 2 chains double crochet 2 chains and Seven double crochet just keep doing with this pattern and complete round 13 we are at the end of round 13 here we have these two chain spaces so first of all make two chains insert the hook into first chain space make a double crochet then make two chains and jump to the next chain space make a double crochet and make last two chains and join with a slip stitch with this pattern we have completed 13 rounds like this and now we are going to start round 14 for round 14 again make three chains as a first double crochet the next chain double crochet next double crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. In this round, we will make six double crochet. After making six double crochet, skip last double crochet. Then make three chains. One, two, three. And now you can see this. Here we have a chain space. Now insert the hook into this chain space and make 8 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 after making eight single crochet into this chain space again make three chains one two three and jump toward the next double crochet skip first double crochet insert the hook into top chain of second double crochet and make next double crochet one two three four five and six in this round we'll make six double crochet on both sides then next we have the chain spaces so just 
repeat the pattern make two chains double crochet into first chain space two chains double crochet in second chain space two chains double crochet in third chain space then make two chains and jump to the next double crochet and again make first six double crochet one two three four five and six after making six double crochet again skip last double crochet and here we have the chain space so first of all make three chains insert the hook into this chain space and make eight single crochet one two three four five six seven eight then make three chains now skip first double crochet and make remaining six double crochet one two three four five and six after making six double crochet again here we have these chain spaces so we have to repeat this pattern just make two chains single double crochet two chains double crochet two chains double crochet two chains and next pattern just keep doing with this pattern and complete this round we are at the end of round 14 after making last six double crochet make two chains here we have three chain spaces to so make a double crochet in each chain space with two chains two chains double crochet two chains double crochet and last two chains then join with the slip stitch this pattern we have completed 14 rounds like this and now we are going to start round 15 first of all make three chains as a double crochet then here we have next double crochet make a double crochet in each chain one two three four and five after making five double crochet skip last double crochet then make three chains and next you can see this here we have eight single crochet in each round we'll skip first single crochet then insert the hook into top chain of second single crochet and make a single crochet next chain single crochet next single crochet three next four five six seven after making seven single crochet you can see this in previous round we have made eight single crochet and now we are making seven single crochet because we have to skip four single crochet in each round after making seven single crochet again make three chains and next you can see this here we have six double crochet so skip first double crochet then insert the hook into top chain of second single double crochet make a double crochet one two three four and five in this round we'll make five double crochet on both sides after making this next this pattern will remain same just make two chains insert the hook into first chain space make a double crochet two chains next chain space double crochet two chains next double crochet 
टू चेन्स नेक्स्ट डबल क्रोशे एंड टू चेन्स देन हेयर वी हैव द नेक्स्ट सिक्स डबल क्रोशे इंसर्ट द हुक इन टू फर्स्ट चेन मेक ए डबल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव आफ्टर मेकिंग फाइव डबल क्रोशे स्किप लास्ट डबल क्रोशे लाइक दिस देन अगेन मेक थ्री चेन्स वन टू थ्री एंड हेयर वी हैव द नेक्स्ट एट सिंगल क्रोशे स्किप फर्स्ट सिंगल क्रोशे इंसर्ट द हुक इन टू टॉप चेन ऑफ सेकेंड सिंगल क्रोशे मेक सिंगल क्रोशे नेक्स्ट सिंगल क्रोशे सिंगल क्रोशे फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन विद दिस पैटर्न विल डिक्रीज अ सिंगल क्रोशे इन ईच राउंड आफ्टर मेकिंग सेवन सिंगल क्रोशे देन अगेन मेक थ्री चेंज वन टू थ्री एंड हेयर वी हैव द नेक्स्ट सिक्स डबल क्रोशे स्किप फर्स्ट डबल क्रोशे इंसर्ट द हुक इन टू सेकेंड चेन मेक ए डबल क्रोशे वन नेक्स्ट टू नेक्स्ट थ्री नेक्स्ट फोर एंड नेक्स्ट फाइव विद इस पैटर्न विल कंप्लीट दिस राउंड then next make two chains double crochet two chains double crochet in each chain space and complete this round this pattern we have completed 15 rounds now round 16 first of all make three chains as a double crochet then insert the hook into next chain make a double crochet two three and four after making four double crochet skip last double crochet in this round we will make four double crochet then next make three chains skip fourth single crochet insert the hook into second chain make a single crochet one two Three, four, five, and six. In round sixteen, we'll make six double crochet because we have to skip first double crochet in each round. Then make three chains and skip. Now first double crochet. Then insert the hook in second chain. Make a double crochet. One, two. Three and four, like this. Then make two chains, and now you can see this. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, five chain spaces. So just make a double crochet in each chain space. Two chains. Next, double crochet. Two chains. Next chain space. Double crochet. Two chains. Next double crochet. Two chains. Next double crochet. Then make last two chains. And here we have these five double crochets. Insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet. Make a double crochet. One, two, three. Four. After making four double crochet, again skip last double crochet. Then make three chains and jump to the next single crochet. Skip first single crochet. Then make next single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. This pattern. We we'll complete this round. Just make six single crochet, then make three chains, and next four double crochet. We we'll make two chains, double crochet, two chains, double crochet in each chain space. With this pattern, we we'll complete this round, and in next round we will make three double crochet instead of four, and remaining pattern will remain same. 
after completing this round we'll make one more round then i'll tell you that what we have to do next we are at the end of round 16 after making last double crochet make two chains in next you can see this here we have these four double crochet make a double crochet in first chain then one double crochet in second chain and one double crochet in third chain after making three double crochet skip last double crochet then make three chains now skip first single crochet then insert the hook into second chain make a single crochet one two three four five in this round you will make five single crochet instead of six because we'll decrease a single crochet in each round and we have to repeat this pattern then again make three chains and next we have this four double crochet skip first double crochet and make last three double crochet one two three then here we have this chain spaces so repeat the pattern make a double crochet in each chain space two chains double crochet after making last two chains then join with the slip stitch this pattern we have completed 16 rounds you can see this in round 16 we have made 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 chain spaces in each round will increase the chain space with this pattern will increase the size of the dolly and here we have to decrease a single crochet because we have to close the pattern from here Now round 17, round 17, 18, 19 and 20 are quite same. You can see this. Just make 3 chains as a first double crochet. Then here we have the next chain. Make a double crochet and now we will make a double crochet in last chain because we have to repeat this pattern just make three double crochet three double crochet three double crochet then next three double crochet this pattern we will make this four rounds and now make three chains skip first single crochet then insert the hook into second single crochet make a single crochet single crochet single crochet and single crochet in this round we will make four single crochet then again make three chains and make next three double crochet one next chain double crochet two and next chain double crochet three you can see this in this round we'll make three double crochet three chains single crochet then three chains and three double crochet we have to repeat this pattern in next four rounds and now we'll make three chains instead of two because we have to increase a chain for this we'll make three chains one two and three and now we'll make a double crochet into this chain space one two three double crochet 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 one two three and last double crochet then we last three chains and next you can see this here we have these three double crochet and next three double crochet we'll just make a double crochet in each chain one two three 
then make three chains and next you can see this here we have one two three four five five single crochet so skip four single crochet then make four single crochet one two three four after making four single crochet again make three chains and make next three double crochet then make three chains double crochet in next chain space then make three chains and next double crochet you will increase a chain in each chain space just keep doing with this pattern and complete round 17 and with the same pattern we will make four more rounds in next round we will make three single crochet then next round we will make two single crochet and in last round we will make one single crochet after completing this round with same pattern make three more rounds with three chains after completing this i'll tell you that what we have to do next we are at the end of round 21 make three chains insert the hook into next chain space make a double crochet three chains next chain space double crochet and now make three chains insert the hook you can see this here we have this three double crochet so just make three double crochet one two three after making three double crochet now we have these two single crochet left for this first of all make three chains skip four single crochet then insert the hook into last single crochet and just make a single crochet then make three chains and jump to the next double crochet and make three double crochet one two three like this now make three chains here we have these chain spaces so just make it double crochet in each chain space one two three next double crochet one two three next double crochet just keep doing with this pattern Here we have the last chain space, make a double crochet, then make three chains. Now insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join with the slip stitch. With this pattern, you can see this. We have completed this round. You can see this, we have made last four rounds, one, two, three, four, five, five rounds with three double crochet like this and now we are going to start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and twenty two we are going to start round twenty two for round twenty two again make three chains as first double crochet insert the hook into next double crochet make a double crochet and next double crochet double crochet after making first three double crochet then yarn over and skip both chain spaces because we have completed the pattern you can see this and now jump toward the next double crochet and make three double crochet one next chain double crochet two and next chain double crochet three in this round we'll close the pattern like this three double crochet then jump to the next three double crochet and now here we have these chain spaces so make three chains double crochet three chains double crochet three chains double crochet 
three chains double crochet just make three chains and make double crochet in each chain space until we reach to the last chain space in round 22 you can see this we'll make one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 12 12 chain spaces after making last three chains insert the hook into this double crochet make a double crochet in each chain three we'll pattern we'll make first three double crochet then yarn over and skip the spaces and just make a double crochet in next three chains one two three we have to repeat this pattern all around and complete round 22 we are at the end of round 22 make three chains insert the hook into last chain space make a double crochet then make three chains and join the slip stitch this pattern we have completed 22 rounds like this and now we are going to start round 23 which is our second last round for this insert the hook into next chain make a slip stitch then insert the hook into third chain and make a slip stitch and now you can see this here we have a space between these two groups of double crochet so insert the hook into this space and make a single crochet like this and now make four chains one two three four then you can see this here we have the next chain spaces so insert the hook into first chain space and make a double crochet and now you will make four chains one two three four then insert the hook into next chain space double crochet four chains next double crochet four chains next double crochet make a double crochet in each chain with four chains with this pattern we'll make one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven chain spaces you can see this after making eleven chain spaces again make four chains one two three four then yarn over insert the hook into this space and make a single crochet again make four chains like this then jump to the next chain space and just make a double crochet with four chains double crochet four chains next chain space double crochet four chains double crochet like this we have to repeat this pattern all around we are at the end of second last round after making last four chains you can see this here we have the first single crochet so insert the hook into this single crochet and join with the slip stitch with this pattern we have completed round 23 and now we are going to start round 24 which is our final round for this insert the hook into first chain space and first of all make four single crochet one two three four for this pattern we will make four double four single crochet on both sides now next we have these chain spaces for this insert the hook into next chain space and make two single crochet one two after making two single crochet now make three chains 
like this then insert the hole into these loops and make a single crochet then insert the hoop into same chain space and make two more single crochet one two like this we have to repeat this pattern all around then here we have the next chain space insert the hook into next chain space and make two single crochet one two after making two single crochet make three chains then insert the hook into these loops and make a single crochet and now insert the hook into same chain space and make two more single crochet like this then jump to the next chain space and make two single crochet one two after making two single crochet make three chains then insert the hook into these loops and make a single crochet and make remaining two single crochet into same chain space one two like this then insert the hook into next chain space first of all make two single crochet then make three chains insert the hook into these loops and make a single crochet then make two more single crochet in same chain space one two after making this like this insert the hook into next chain space make two single crochet then make three chains make a single crochet from here and make remaining two single crochet into same chain space one two one two two single crochet then three chains insert the hook into these two loops make a single crochet and make two more single crochet in same chain space next chain space two single crochet one two then three chains insert the hook into these loops make single crochet then make two more single crochet in same chain space like this This pattern it will make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 pico. Then next you can see this. Here we have these two chain spaces. For this we will make just 4 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then jump to the next chain space and make 4 single crochet. One, two three four with this pattern we'll make the bottom of this flower you can see this four single crochet and four single crochet then next we have these chain spaces so we'll repeat this pattern first of all make two single crochet one two then make three chains one two three Insert the hook into these loops, make a single crochet and make remaining two single crochet in same chain space. After making this, then jump to the next chain space and again make two single crochet, one, two, then make three chains, make a single crochet from here and make remaining two single crochet in same chain space like this. Just keep doing with this pattern and complete final round. We are at the end of final round. Here we have the last chain space. We will make two single crochet, then make three chains. Insert the hook into these loops, make a single crochet and make two more single crochet in same chain space. Then here we have the next chain space. We will just make four single crochet into this chain space three and four
4 after making 4 single crochet insert the hook into first single crochet and make a slip stitch then cut the yarn from here like this and here we have the extra yarn so we'll hide this yarn on back side thread the needle this pattern we have completed this jolly so friends i hope you like this tutorial we'll meet you soon with a new tutorial till then goodbye Thank <laughs> you.